Hello everyone. Today, let us see what are logic gates and what are universal gates and how do we derive each and every logic gate from a universal gate. Logic gates. The basic logic gates are not and or NAND NOR XOR XNOR Okay. The symbols are this is NOT gate AND gate OR gate NAND gate is AND with an inverter the inverter will be indicated with a bubble. NOR gate is an OR gate with an inverter. Here the inverter is indicated with a bubble. XOR gate is shown like this one. XNOR is inversion of XOR or an inverter added to an XOR gate. So it will look like this one. We add a bubble for it. So what are universal gates? we call NAND gate and NOR gate as universal gates. The reason is that we can represent any of these logic gates with these two universal gates. Now let us try and represent each and every of this logic gate with these universal gates. Now, we will take a logic gate here, we will represent it in terms of NAND gate and we will also represent it in terms of NOR gate. First logic gate that I am taking is NOT gate or inverter. How do you represent that with a NAND gate? This is a NAND gate. If we short the input, if we short both the inputs, then this is a NAND gate. Similarly, if we short both the inputs of a NOR gate, then this will be NOT gate. So it's like that. We can represent these in terms of universal gates. So this is for NOT gate and the next one AND gate. Now we will try to represent AND gate in terms of NAND and NOR. We know that Inverter back to back is an inverter which is put back to back cancels itself. So this is a NAND gate and this is an inverter. So it is like NAND gate with inverter which is equal to AND gate. So this is how we represent an AND gate and um, here I would like to tell you something AND is like this A B now what do we get A into B if we want to split this one then it is like we can put a bar whole bar into B bar bar. So why am I putting this? Two inverters or two complements cancel each other and after that it is by using the law of boolean algebra we can convert it like this. So it is our operation of two inverters and the output is again inverted. 
so how do we do that so we have to represent AND gate by using NOR gates let us see how can we do that so first we have to write A B now we have to do complement of A and B this is A bar this is B bar and what next now we are doing OR operation and then inverting it OR after that invert is nothing but an OR gate so this will go directly to a NOR gate simple so AND gate representation in terms of NOR gates so we are using only NOR gates to represent AND gate here so this is AND representation and now let us do OR gate representation how will OR gate be represented in terms of NAND and in terms of NOR? The same thing here. OR gate, if we are taking A, B as inputs, if we are ORing them, then it is A plus B. How can we represent A plus B by using NAND gates? So, the same thing again. I will do A plus B I'll put two complements over here and after that by using the law of boolean algebra I can represent it in this way which is complement of A complement of B put into a NAND gate the similar way in which we have implemented this operation okay now So it is A bar, B bar, and then put into a NAND gate. That is NAND representation of OR gate. Now, how do you represent? OR gate in terms of NOR gate so it is like this this is already a NOR gate if we put an inverter in front of it then we can get OR gate so now we have represented NOT gate in terms of both NAND and NOR we have represented AND gate in terms of both NAND and NOR and also we have represented OR gate in terms of both NAND and NOR okay now let us try and represent a next gate is a NAND gate we have to represent NAND gate in terms of NAND gate so it will be the same gate itself if we want to represent NAND gate in terms of NOR gates then how do you do that see this is NOR representation of AND if we want to get NAND then we just need to put an inverter in front of it if we put an inverter here then it will be the same AND gate represented in terms of NOR gates put an inverter then it will become a NAND gate so the representation is like this this is AND gate if we just append an inverter over here then it will become NAND gate so now this has become 
NAND gate. Simple guys. All right. This is done. So now we have also represented NAND gate. Now we have to represent NOR gate in terms of both NAND and NOR. So we have represented uh, OR gate in terms of NANDs. So if we want to represent a NOR gate, then what do we have to do? We just have to append an inverter in front of this one. So the circuit or the equivalent gate representation will be like this. This is an inverter again. Simple. So this is how we represent a NOR gate using only NAND gates. And representation of NOR using NOR is just a simple NOR gate. Now we have also completed NOR gate representation. Now we are left with XOR and XNOR. Actually, XOR and XNOR are a bit complex structures. We also have an equivalent derivation, but it is quite big. So, I'll just show you people the structure of representing XOR gate in terms of NAND and NOR. It is called a butterfly structure. It is easy to remember also the butterfly structure will be like this if this is input A this is input B This is A X or B. Similarly, if we want to represent X or in terms of NOR gates, then it will be the same butterfly structure appended by a NOR inverter. Okay, so this is the butterfly structure. This is the basic butterfly structure for XOR gate in terms of NAND gate. It's a basic butterfly structure for XOR gate in terms of NOR gates. It's a butterfly structure appended by an inverter. If we want to represent XNOR gate, then we simply have to append an inverter in front of butterfly structure x nor gate oh i have put a bubble here it's actually this one did i do the same no 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 this is right so xor is done now i have to represent x nor Okay, this butterfly structure appended by an inverter. Okay, here it goes. This is XNOR representation. See, this is already an inverter. If we have an inverter and again append an inverter, these both inverters cancel each other 
so if I have to append an inverter here again it will be like cancelling this inverter so it will be the same butterfly structure simple when you observe it it is just a butterfly structure which we are replicating each and every time this is similar to this one and this is similar to this one just to represent the structure I have just indicated with an arrow there is actually a derivation in terms of boolean equation for it which I'll show you in another video so these are the basic logic gates out of which we call NAND gate and NOR gate as a universal gate why do we call them as a universal gate the reason is that we can represent all the logic gates and OR, NOR, NAND, NOR, XOR, XNOR everything in terms of these two gates itself what we have done is we have represented all the logic gates in terms of NAND gates so this row completely we have represented all the logic gates in terms of NAND gates so we have also represented all the logic gates in terms of NOR gates so this is how all the logic gates are represented I will also upload the scanned copies with a further explanation of why these are called uh, universal gates and in actual chip design why do we use only AND uh, only use NAND gear, NAND gates and NOR gates and everything with details I will append that into damnhit.com do visit this site in the section digital the scanned copy of these two sheets is also available in damnhit.com so you can also take a look from there thanks for watching have a good day